All right, man. So we're gonna react to this Gucci third leg shit that's been going around. Sound like this motherfucker got bodies on bodies. Be like, oh, your body counts too much. Cause her body count like two thousand. My body count like three thousand. So it's like, damn, like I ain't feel too too bad about it, honestly. It says you. It says you're positive. Yes. That whenever I was nineteen years old, Gucci third leg, and he told me that he was gonna send me his test results. Yo, I'm gonna be straight up when uh this Gucci third leg shit started going around, whatnot, right? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't even know there was another nigga named Gucci the third leg. Nigga, I just thought they were talking about Gucci, man. Gucci! You feel me? I walked out, they talking about Gucci third leg burnt me. I'm like, Gucci third leg. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is the way they trying to censor shit out for the youngest. And you feel me? Like, we ain't trying to say, oh, Gucci burnt me. It's Gu you feel me? So, I was like, alright, whatever, right? And more time went on, kind of find out, like, nah, this is the whole corn star, uh, whatever. His real name is Gucci the Third. Well, not his real name, but, you know, his entertainment, entertainment name, entertainment name is Gucci the Third. Like, so, I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even know who the f he was. And he never did. This information about him giving girls something they cannot get rid of has been information in the community for years and it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls that she's blaming you while the whole time she gave it to you if you have it not saying you didn't have it okay baby go lay down on the couch for a little bit all right this scandal could affect some of the biggest go grab a blanket youtube and live streaming with so many connections and potential link-ups between these two people the butterfly effect of who is affected runs deep it's no surprise that catching something like this could have lasting consequences once you've got it it doesn't go away it becomes a permanent part of your life this could damage any future relationships with potential significant others bro do y'all know how scared i like once i became um you know active like you know sexual active right and I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. There were times I was a hella iffy about a lot of females where I'm just like, mm, <laughs> we strapping up. Like, you feel me? Some people want to throw that meat to meat, but like, nah, I feel like you got some body count, my dog. I, mm, hell nah. I, shit, last week you would just fuck with what so and so. And this week you fuck with. Yeah, I can't do that. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. That was one of my biggest fears when I became active, bro. Like, hoping that I didn't run crazy across the wrong chicken head hoping i didn't i hope i didn't get the like like you're out to look you're out to have fun but at the same time you're hoping like man i hope you ain't a jump off i hope you ain't like you know like you ain't for the street because like and for those in the industry even derail their entire careers just because he did try to just say oh yeah she probably gave it to me so i'm gonna go on my quest i so i'm gonna log in because this man for didn't want to show himself logging in. <laughs> and there's girls with so many similar stories to me, and they're so young. I know this ain't funny, but in reality, y'all feel sorry for her? Like, uh, in my opinion, I'm not sure if they're the act, like, if, if there have been multiple um issues like this. But for the first one that I ran across, and it's something like this, and homegirl is crying bloody murder on the goddamn camera. You feel me? So, do y'all feel sorry for her? Because in my mind, I want to feel sorry, but at the same time, I want to be like, but why? Like. Three, one, 24, we 24. see it. Yep. She showed negative test results on March 1st. Later, however, after an encounter with Third Leg, she showed it did tested positive. She claims to have only been with one other person from the creator space, but it's yet to be determined if he was the source of her condition. What's interesting is that Gucci's Third Leg opted for third-party testing instead of the industry standard, talent testing, which raised speculation among viewers. Some suggested that false results could be a possibility due to not using the industry standard. They had to get... You know, saying talent tested. Sometimes when you're saying, let's say they just want to work with somebody, they, they don't even ask no questions. They just 
mind you, I did not know about talent testing or clear whenever. Okay. Um, this happened. The blink of her eye, he snapped half the baddies away. Half the girls everybody was trying to get on or trying to crack one day in the future, you're done. He then <laughs> showed a zoomed in screenshot of his negative test results, which led to skepticism from Dana Davis. She questioned the legitimacy of the proof, asking, why zoom in? Why use a screenshot? In response, she provided evidence of logging into her testing account and showed proof of both her negative. Hey, this is a selfish motherfucker, dog. Like, how the hell you know you got something instead of you kind of like figuring like, well, you know, I ain't no getting rid of it. But like, I think what I'm trying to say is like, how the hell you know you 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 have something and you can easily give it to anybody, but you stay here still like you know making content of your making your kind of content. You feel me? You know your your system ain't ain't clean like that. So why the hell do you sit here and still make content with these girls, knowing they're gonna wake up the next day or a few days later feeling some type of way because of what you got? Like, I honestly, now, like, I didn't know too much about this, but just listening a little bit to it, it's kind of fucked up. Like, your ass need to be, your ass need to be. And positive results, which appeared more credible. Allegedly, her positive test came after both her negative and positive results. At one point, a nigga would look at this picture and be like, Burman hand run she you feel me? She, she got that little thing but I, I hit that you this but now now with all this shit called <laughs> now with all this headline you know the Gucci third leg and she and she done going viral for be crying for crying her, her her eyes out and whatnot now when a nigga look at your picture they just gonna be like mm -mm, hell nah you ain't finna get me which appeared more credible. Allegedly, her positive test came after being with Gucci's third leg, and she claims he never informed her of his condition. Now, the who y'all need to pray for is y'all man's the shade. Y'all need to pray for uh, Lil Mike. I'm praying for them. For Gucci's third leg to be cleared, it would have to be proven that he has no affiliation with the testing facility and that the documents haven't been forged or altered, which some might consider doing with millions at stake. If you've tried dropshipping in the past before and failed, it is not your fault. The traditional dropshipping model is broken, and nobody... State. Davis provided more substantial evidence on her side, documenting when she contracted it. However, proving the origin of her remains uncertain at this point, with much of the information being hearsay, rumors that can't be substantiated adequately. Why every time y'all see me with it? Y'all think I'm f***ing it. Can I just chill? Can I hang out? God, I'm a grown-ass gangster superhero. Leave me alone. In these cases involving potential lawsuits, it's... Super thought. Super H-O-A... H-O-E. Don't buy that shit. We not buying that shit. For all the kind of shit that you rapping your music, you get around some nigga that you think they ain't... Uh, I like my chick with some meat on him, so I ain't gonna lie. You ain't got that much meat, thank you, Red, but... It's important to recognize that individuals on these platforms can earn significant money, like the claim that Third Leg made close to 5 to 10 million from videos alone. And he is considered one of the smaller creators on the platform. The ones alleged he spread without notice were some of the elite top creators, potentially making millions every month. Having the possibility of halting their content indefinitely, it could raise concerns about financial repercussions for others involved. A Nigga, if I was your barber, I ain't even gonna want to cut your hair no more, nigga. I, I feel like you might get my clip or something. Especially the ones that are allegations to that, he spread this too. However, proving liability in these situations is challenging. Mad fam, bro, you wouldn't even believe the roster, bro. If you look at the names, and that one girl was brave enough to come out. Bro, I seen the goddamn list. That shit was on Twitter, right? And I'm like, ain't no way, bro. Bro, the list that I think you might as well call that shit a hit list. Dead ass, you might as well call that shit a hit list, bro. I think there were, what, like, about 90 people on that bitch? Maybe maybe even more. But I know there were two five, two pages to it, so I kind of, like, like, I seen the first one, I ain't really read all the names, and I went to the second one, and I'm like, bro, hey, this is all your victim? I'm tell her story, but I'm not gonna lie, it's too late. You should have told that story, like, when you soon as you got it, when you looked at the report. Is this real? 
It's not even funny anymore. Oh God. Oh. Have you ever had with Sky Bree? I ain't never heard that girl. I'm my lady girl. I ain't never met that girl. Good. Oh, okay, okay. I think this was a little part that I, I caught from. I don't know. I think it was yesterday, right? When they were talking about, like, Aiden was trying to get him to come on the stream so he can explain his result, but he didn't want to come on the stream, right? So, and everybody's sitting here, like, bro, why are you worrying about it? Everybody don't want to come on the stream and, uh, what you call it, and explain his result. Like, he don't want to do it. He don't want to do it. Just leave him alone, right? But I think it was somebody that was like, nah, he wants, he wants, uh, Gucci Third Lady to come on the stream. And explain because I guess one of the shoddy that one of the chicks that uh Gucci third leg cracked Aiden Ross got a little piece of that. So now his heart is racing. But now that be some shit, boy. Y'all boy, y'all some nasty ass. Establishing that third leg is directly responsible is difficult due to the nature established. See, I can't even look at a female in the same picture with this buddy, uh, with Gucci third leg and be like, mm, mm, mm. Now it's just like, mm, I know what you got. Trapped in a closet. Seeing that third leg is directly responsible is difficult due to the nature of testing and the rarity of proving exclusive exposure to know if he is the one who spread it or not. This makes it unlikely that charges would stick against him based solely on those circumstances. Even if he's not the one, okay, so listen here. Even if he didn't have it first, right, he went to go hit whoever, raw, got it, bam. From there, I'm pretty sure at one point, like, I never had none of them symptoms, so I can't tell you what is, like, you know, what are you supposed to feel different, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is, is let's just say you did get it from another um, individual, right? You got it from whoever, right? A couple months, a couple weeks, whatever goes by, and I'm pretty sure you start noticing something different with your body, nigga. Like, something just don't feel right. You go get a test result. I'm pretty sure you had to get a test result unless, you know, the one that you're showing is fake. But if the fact that you literally sat here and continue to crack these bitches raw. Like, nigga, you just think zombie that on the street for us, nigga. You just, nigga, you get a zombie, you get a zombie, you get a zombie. With the money at stake, it might be worth it for some creators, but there could be so many possible suits that if the alleged is true of thousands, he won't have money to pay the damages of possibly hundreds of millions, may even have to serve time if he gets proven guilty, which most likely never happened. If proven to be responsible for these big name creators contracting anything, if there are allegations that he lied about test results. A little reminder, if you go on Twitter, you'll see that for faking his test results. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Burt's Bees moisturizes with a tingle of peppermint oil that feels like if an Arctic mountain. Wow. But, um, to successfully sue for damages related to lost income, they would need to prove negligence or fraudulent behavior, especially concerning false negative test results. Knowingly transmitting without informing a partner can be a crime, classified as either a misdemeanor or a felony, depending on the circumstances. Finally, keep in mind that the statute of limitations for filing a lawsuit varies by state and the specific legal claim. Typically, for negligence claims, you have two to three years from when you discovered the issue to file a lawsuit. So, I'm on the 50 I've seen numerous girls that I've never even been with or even seen. So you didn't know anything about this or anything like that while being with that boy? No. Okay. Who are you thinking about that? Like when, when you seen that, what, what was your, your thought? Personally, you know, I don't want to bash anybody. So I want to say this in the most simplest way that I can without, you know, hurting no one's feelings or trying to be, you know what I'm saying? But I watched the video. I guess I see what, you know, what everybody saw. But yeah, I just, so just like, so you saying basically, if you saw that, why would you could, would have done that? Like, her or, you know, downplay what she's going through. What you're going through, but it's just like, sometimes we could kind of prevent certain shit from happening. Uh, you know, never mind. Yeah, I'm I, good. I'm, I gotta go pick up my ground. Or she could have been like, some, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could have made every excuse in the world just not to catch whatever you caught. I, 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 I. Either go lay down or go in the front. Lay down. No more playing. Okay. 
I'm a realist, and I do feel bad for her and her situation, if it's true, because remember, this yeah. is all alleged. All about to say, because I was, my next question was going to be... If the allegations are true about him using alternative names to show fake test results and spreading it through the community for years, the potential number of people affected is staggering. Just imagine if he's been with 1,000 people, knowing he had something, and each of them got with 10 others before being tested, the numbers quickly escalate. Considering that most people in this space are pretty active and get tested nearly monthly, those 10 people could then go on to be with 10 more. That would mean up to 100,000 people could potentially be affected by Third Leg himself. And that's just based on one third of the total number of partners he claims to have, 3,000 or more. If he has allegedly had this for years, as some in the industry are saying, the spread could be even larger. And make it fair, we it's safe to say you serious as hell. You ain't. You won't talk to that boy no more. He said that you said, um, and I went to go see if you really said. <coughs> that you said on Tasha K. I'm okay, baby. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I, <clears throat> I can't stand. I hate those. Well, he said, she said, motherfucker. Enough with this. He said, she said, bro. Like. <coughs> A motherfucker would be like, well, I heard I heard what you got to say, this and that. Well, I heard that he said this and that, right? And then when you go confront the motherfucker, I ain't never said that. I right? Now you in the whole mess of he said, she said, no one. Now that now that you're trying to confront everybody, everybody playing stupid. I, I hated that he said, she said shit, bro. Like, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Like if, like, if I rock with you, right, if I rock with you. And somebody talking shit about you or whatever, like I might ask them, like, damn, bro, what the whole, like, what the whole um animosity, like, what the whole, what you got again, buddy? Like, <laughs> you feel me, like, damn, like, why are you talking spicy? <coughs> Unless I'm fake for that. Once you tell me why you you, you speaking spicy, what what's your problem with, buddy? Da 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 da. And especially if I'm cool with him, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm not finna sit. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm just straight up, bro. But it don't really rock with you like that, bro. You sitting here like, like, cause I'm one of them niggas. Don't waste my time, bro. I don't want to sit here and laugh with you and kick it with you if I know you don't even like me for real, bro. That's fake as fuck. But I saw him saying that he got like three thousand plus bodies, and he was like, "My ex, uh, Diamond Body, got over two. I said, "Not Diamond Body, got body." It is. It's absolutely fake. Um, I said it to go viral, like, okay. you know. Point. Everybody knows I'm a fucking cloud chaser. Everybody. <laughs> I yeah. actually feel scared that I could just live in my truth. Like, that okay, so Diamond say. Body ain't got 2,000 bodies. But 2,000 is a little, like, obviously it's, it, and I don't think he got 3,000 bodies. He was just saying it. Yeah, like a shock too. That's what I was thinking when I seen it. I was like, is this like a shock fact? What is the truth behind this situation? With all the accusations flying around, he gave me this, she gave me that. It's hard to pin down what's really going on. Everyone seems to be pointing fingers at each other, but test results don't hold much weight unless they're proven within a specific time frame. Technically, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And proving guilt in this case is incredibly difficult. Despite allegations that Third Leg may have spread something to hundreds of people, it's unlikely he'll face charges. At this point, it comes down to opinion. Who do you believe? There are growing accusations against Third Leg, and it's not helping his image in the public eye. He was even accused of reading a script, which doesn't look great for someone claiming innocence. Most people don't need a script if they're telling the truth, but maybe he was just trying to be careful, given the serious nature of the accusations. It's hard to say for sure. Some viewers pointed out that if he was reading from a script, why would he have glass windows behind him where you can clearly see the reflection of the camera and everything behind it? The questions being asked in interviews and live streams seem to be poking holes in Third Leg's story and people are noticing inconsistencies the same questions keep coming up was he responsible shouldn't he own up to it if he was the pressure is on for him to be tested according to industry standards but whether anyone can definitively prove wrongdoing remains to be seen i say take that nigga out of the industry fuck the bullshit fuck the bullshit listen like i said i let this like i'm pretty sure this won't be the first time somebody caught something like this in the industry right but it's just the simple fact that, like, this shit, like, this shit, why this shit big right now? You feel me? Like, <coughs> uh, hit that subscribe and follow your boy.